Baba, Manto Vetabelate. This is everybody's day. This is everybody's day. There are two basic experiences that every believer must have. One of the reasons why you qualify to receive his life is that you also possess a life. Amen. The name of the life that you possess is death. The name of the life that he possesses is called life. So you, you possessed an operating system called death. He possessed an operating system called life. And God decided to create an interface of interaction. And then it, within that interface, he deploys the technology of exchange. That the only reason why you can collect the operating system called life is that you have a, an operating system called death to give. Are you with me? So, the testimony of a believer is not the testimony of change. It's the testimony of exchange. I had a life to give. He had a life to give. So I gave him my own by acknowledging his lordship. And then he gave me his own. So the complete testimony is that I gave my life to Christ. And I accepted the Christ. Are you with me? And if you don't want the word accept. Because the opposite of give is what? Receive. So I gave my life to Christ and I also received the Christ or if you want I received the life of Christ that's the the robust expression of the testimony of those who have what we call the new salvation in 2022 we need to add an adjective to salvation because there is the concept of counterfeit salvation and if you stay in church long enough you will find out that virtually everything we do has a counterfeit. That's what they call counterfeit worship. In counterfeit worship, the songs suggest that God is being worshipped. But the God that is actually being worshipped is the man that is worshipping. Are you with me? Because in worship, the consciousness in worship is supposed to be away from the worshipper. It's supposed to be towards the one who is worshipped. But you know now that when you are worshiping, you still you still feel yourself. You say, ah, there's what we call counterfeit worship. There's also what we call counterfeit prayer. Now, when you hear his tongues, you think he's praying. But man, the reason why the sister's tongues went high is because she wants to show that I found something. It's about self, it's not God word, so it's counterfeit. There's also the concept of counterfeit holiness. That all of us think you are consecrated to God. But you are not. The end of your consecration is not God. The end of your consecration is social justification. You want people to come to a point of acknowledging that. Ah! That's the person. So there are many counterfeits. Pastor Diola, there are also counterfeit callings. That certain people believe that Jesus has called them, but they didn't hear you call. I remember sometimes in the seminary, a young man who had been frequenting the seminary suddenly shows up and he obtained a pastor's form. Ah, the gate man that time, I remember it was, that was Baba Sanusi. Baba said, Ah, Elena Tiba, Ikwe. Baba said, Yoruba, Ikwe, Koloba, Fon Koloba. Baba. Well, you see, God can call anybody. But based on Baba's judgment, ah! You mean that God has stopped seeing people that he can call? He not call this guy. This guy. Well, my challenge was that the guy is not, the guy was not different from before his call. So he didn't give anybody a reason to believe God. But there are people in ministry, I've heard a minister after 25 years who went to a meeting where callings were being discussed. And he said, what is this thing about calling? If God does not call me, I call myself. It's, it's, to him, it's an assignment. There are people who have signed up to ministry because of survival. It's a counterfeit call. And if you're unfortunate to be under that kind of pastor, he will milk you dry. Because to him, ministry is a means. 
is a means of survival. So in the midst of many counterfeits, it is important that we find again the tokens of genuine salvation. When a man is genuinely saved, we know how he will end. Are you with me? We know how his life will progress. There are things we can endure because we know that those things will not last. That there is, as a byproduct of his decision or his new state, there is...